crashing up the sky. Hey guys, welcome back to Insomniac Stream. Today's video is a little bit more subdued than I normally do, but it's because I wanted to uh, have an elven makeup on my channel for a long time now. I think I always put it off because I think it's too simple, um, as well as having a good reference for like what I would normally do for like cosplay makeup, so I figured it'd be fun to incorporate that into a tutorial today for you guys. <laughs> I also thought it'd be kind of fun to try out um, a new set of extensions that I got sent because I have never had extensions before or hair that is insanely long. So I thought it'd be fun to try my hand at it today and see if I could make it work. So if you want to see how all of this comes to life and the uh, wonderful struggles that do ensue, please just keep watching and let's just jump into it. All right, so first thing I'm going to start with is uh, the base. So I'm going to use um, Tatcha's Silk Canvas Primer, and then I'm going to move into foundation and concealer. Whatever primer you enjoy, whatever foundation you enjoy. Hi, Alice. Oh, OK, going for Wander. For foundation, I'm going to use NYX's Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Again, I don't have a Holy Grail foundation, but it's a pretty good one. I've been enjoying it. Because we're going for an elven look, I'm going to do my best to make my skin look um, as inhumanly humanly, can't say that word apparently, as inhumanly flawless as possible. Then throw on some concealer, because again, that flawless uh, elven skin that we're trying to achieve here. I mainly apply to the inner corner here, because that's where I get discoloration from like dark circles or tiredness. And then I can just pull a little bit of extra out to be fully under the eye. But if I do like concealer all the way under my eye, it's just a mess because I have very natural fine lines under my eyes. And surprisingly, caked in concealer does not make them look better. So then I'm just gonna take uh, Laura Mercier's translucent setting powder and set everything. You can sure that I run one more time under the eyes just to make sure it hasn't already settled into my little, my little baby wrinkles that exist under there. Because setting in wrinkles sounds like the opposite of what I would be going for as an elf. But then again, maybe you're like that one like old wise elf that lives in the village and like you always go to when you're in a bind and you need some like sage advice. You could be that elf. All right, with that all done, I'm gonna move on to contouring. And for mine, I'm using, they no longer sell it, but Sephora used to have a color in their like blush line and contour line that was called Tranquil. But you can see like it's super cool tone for someone who's really fair. So it's still my current favorite for contouring just cause a lot of contour colors for very pale people are warm tone, which is the opposite of contouring. So to kind of make the elven cheekbone, I'm kind of going from the top of my ear aiming towards the side of my mouth, which you can see kind of doing this. And that's where I'm trying to apply the bottom shadow. Really lift up those cheekbones. And then you usually put a little bit in the temple. Alice has joined us. So then for the nose, I am gonna try and contour it to be um, slimmer. A little bit tricky on my nose because my nose actually like bends sideways. I kind of have to like go against that, but the idea of contouring anyways is to kind of cheat the eye, so I'll do my best. So for the nose contour, I'm just using Furless Pro 7E. Kind of a good mix of a fluffy brush for blending, but tapered enough for a nose contour. A big game of slowly laying down color. And then I also, my nose also curves right here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow on this side. This little pop out is. And a little underneath to try and make this part look like the highest point, which again is kind of that like upturned elven look that I'm going for. Ow. Sweetheart, I'm chasing your tail. You clawed my back. Not very nice. So then just for the size of the face, I did on this side already. So I'm going to do over here is add a little bit of bronzer. I'm just using this one. So far warmer than the contour color. And this goes kind of over top, but think of it as like if the contour is right here, the bronzer is about to be your blending shade between highlight and contour. And then of course, the whole point being to just bring a bit of warmth to your skin. And then again, bronzer, you can place wherever you like. A good rule is always the rule of three or ease. It's just the... So then for the eyes, I am just using... Oh, there goes Alice. I'm using my Suva Beauty Palette. 
apologize that it's messy, but this is the, the one I tend to go to for a neutral palette and it's called Neutral Necessities. Another furless brush. I'm gonna take the white and apply it just to the highest point of my brow bone and then right here and carry it up. And with this color, and start creating a little bit of a winged shadow shape. So a bit of an outer V right here. And then taking the darker brown, focus that on the very outer corner. Like right here. Just run the color underneath here. I'm gonna use a brown liquid liner instead of my go-to black so that it'll be a little bit softer. And then just to soften it a little bit more but still keep it strong, I'm just taking the same brown shadow, going over it, and then I'm just gonna kind of feather out the wing a little bit. So then for mascara, I'm just gonna use Benefit's Roller Lash, one of my favorites for my lashes. But use whichever one you're currently digging. And then again, this is somewhere where you totally stop for the eyes. I am gonna throw on a pair of false lashes, mainly because my elves in my head would have like naturally or supernaturally incredibly long, perfect lashes that humans could only dream of. And voila, lashes. These are just um, cut up juxtaposed lashes from NYX. And so then just to have the eyes be a little bit brighter, I'm using Sigma's uh, inner eye brightener. I'm just going to line the waterline with that. Same idea as lining your waterline with white to make them look like brighter and bigger. It's just that it's a bit more of a neutral tone, like a champagne -y pink color. So that looks slightly more natural than using a white. So then to do brows, um, I'm just gonna do a mix of NYX's Auburn this guy, whatever it is, and <laughs> their uh, espresso in their eyebrow powder pencil. I'm gonna start with the red. So I have the warm tone underneath. So obviously on its own, would not quite work because it's very, very red. <laughs> All right, and then some of the last steps is I do want to throw on a little bit of blush. I'm using an hourglass one that I've had for years. Elves are often depicted as like very youthful looking and fresh and blush tends to add that little bit of color to your face. So I'm gonna use Becca's Moonstone. Good old classic to go to. Tip of the nose. Slightly down the center. Sweet, all glowy. Perfect. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some freckles because I think it's fun. Alright, so freckles are on. Again, if you were going for more of like a Lord of the Rings elf, I would say avoid the freckles because they do tend to make you look more youthful as opposed to like ancient etherealness. But I just kinda wanted to include them, so important. For the hair, so I can get kind of a cool braid going on. Um, I'm going to try out a set of extensions. Um, Irresistible Me is a company that reached out to me a little while ago and actually sent me a set and I've never had extensions in my entire life but I wanted to give it a shot so I did actually um, try to match my hair a little bit better. It's why I actually recently dyed it a little bit darker than I've ever gone because these were the guys that I got. They have a bit more purple in them so I'm going to throw purple on here eventually kind of just to get back to a bit more of a unnatural color because that's what I tend to like. So these ones are um, the rosewood color. They are the 20 inches and they are, this is the 200 gram set. And basically the different grams just mean like what amount of these guys you get. So this set comes with one of the three clips, which is this guy and a four, which like the four is by far the beefiest one. So like if you really want a bunch of volume, I would say get this guy which I actually do think the um, the one with the fork is sold on its own. So if you're ever looking just to add like one little bit of boost or you can get like a set like this where you can kind of fill in all the gaps. So now one thing I did look up that I kind of figured out is um, it's best if you don't have a completely straight line where you put the extensions, but that is also kind of trickier to do on your own hair. Like I think ideally you would do almost like a zigzag cut, but I don't know how to do that on the back of my own head. So I'm gonna do the best I can. So I'm just gonna tease the roots of where it's gonna clip in. 
and this is just so that the clips have a bit more substance to grip to it's probably the best way to put it and then it's like putting in any kind of barrette just stab yourself with the extension and then clip it once it's like hooked in all right so then let down some more of the hair feel where it was and then kind of go just above it oh my god my arm's already tired literally just started that's how much i don't do my hair normally Oh, about here is where the big piece is gonna go so I'm gonna put the four one there and from what I know putting the most voluminous piece this guy right it kind of almost like the not the actual crown of your head but almost like where you would have like a crown at the back of your head is the best way to add the extra volume all right so that's the big guy in give it a good shake make sure it's not coming out <laughs> so right now the difference in length <laughs> is pretty significant <laughs> but the blonde isn't too bad so my hair naturally like my hair is ending like right here and these guys are uh, <laughs> going past my boobs so then because since I do a side part this way um, I'm gonna add a little bit more to this side to kind of almost even it out because this would be the area since I have fine thin hair this is where uh, I don't have much going on. So I'm gonna add a few more to this side. So this one is a little guy of two. Like I have to imagine this is way easier to apply on someone else, like a hairdresser doing this. But I like the idea of being able to like amp up my hair for a night or something on my own. And do one kind of over here. So honestly, it reminds me of like wearing a wig. Like it's what it feels like, but with more breathability. <laughs> so some more like putting like wefts in your hair as opposed to a straight wig. Do more on this side. Oh, so much hair. <laughs> See, the thing is too, is fun about this is that um, at one point in my life, I did have hair down in my ass. So I actually did have really long hair, but I've never had hair that's had so much weight to it because my hair is thin and like fine as hell, so it's never really been any weight to my hair. This feels kind of fun. All right, I'm gonna put a set there. I have to assume my teasing method is uh, not the greatest, but I like to believe that there's no perfect way to tangle your hair. So with this, I've had four sets of the two, and then the rest are little, I have three of the ones like a little single clip so you can kind of go anywhere that you need a little bit extra. Probably closer to the front is where you're gonna want the one because a big one up here is gonna be way too obvious. <laughs> I would say also, especially for ones like this where it's like one by itself, you're probably gonna wanna cut it once it's in your hair or before it goes in if you don't wanna accidentally cut your own hair but just because it will be unrealistically long if you have layered hair. One more, just one right here at the very front. No, you're gonna stay over there for a sec. Stop it! Stop it! Sweet! I did it! <laughs> this is actually a huge success for me. You, not, you, you don't even know. All right, so then, this would be the hair, definitely a lot of it. <laughs> But not too bad. I would say, um, if you're like me and you're really unfamiliar, I would definitely recommend taking, like, a, like if you got a set, I would recommend, like, taking it with you to a hairdresser or something and getting to, like, cut it into your hair so that it can blend a little bit easier. Luckily, uh, I got the color to match pretty well, which I'm really excited about. My hairdresser was fantastic. So then you can definitely just, like, go out, rock it like this. I'm gonna try and, like, add, like, a little bit of, like, braiding or something, because I feel like that'd be fun. This is where I definitely wish I could do, like, some sick YouTube style crazy braid but I like can't even give myself a French braid so the idea to be able to do anything intricate is just impossible we could do like a cool like side braid though I nice think about this you could do like a super messy kind of braid and it will work for the fact that pieces kind of like stick out here and there I guess I'm essentially doing like an Elsa braid right now oh no Elsa's braid starts with a French braid <laughs> which I can't do so not so much can you let go? Thank you. And then we'll like pull it out a little bit. All 
There we go. Alright, and then for ears, these are just a set I have from Aradani Studios. I might be a little lazy today, I might just actually sit them on top <laughs> instead of fully applying them. I've applied uh, elf ears in a few other videos, which I'll like link above. If you want to see how to actually like put them down with spirit gum latex and like blend them in if you weren't going to put like hair in front of them. But if you're doing something like this and putting hair in front, you can kind of cheat. All right, this one's a little bit trickier because I have more hair over here now. Let's see. And last but not least is to throw on some lip stuff. So I'm going to use uh, the Steel Liquid Lipstick in Baki or Basi. I don't know. And then I'm going to throw on a Furless Convertible Lip Gloss over top. Sadly, don't know what shade this is because they actually don't have their names on them, which is kind of weird. Uh, I'll probably look this up and have it in the description to see what shade this probably was. Braid all pretty. All right, and there we go. And then if you wanted for like more elvenness, you could throw on something like a little crown or something, a little circlet. This is one I've had for a while. I used it in my uh, my dark fairy tutorial. <laughs> And uh, the creator of this is Wire Princess, which I've used in a few of them. She also makes, uh, actually I have a few here, um, really beautiful like wire elf ears. So have a link for that of course as well down below. All right, and that is it for my Elven makeup look. I know a lot more simple for me than normal, but I kind of have wanted to do a more basic tutorial for a while of how I would do my makeup for something like an elf or even a lot of my cosplay makeup would be a lot more kind of like this, just with like differences here and there. Ways to look a little bit softer, but uh, bring the look to life a little bit more. And uh, plus you guys got to see me struggle through uh, putting in extensions for the first time. So hopefully that was fun to watch. As always, I will have everything I used in the description down below from the crown, the, uh, the extensions to the elf ears uh, and anything else needed to bring the look to life. So please check that out if you have a chance. And again, I just hope you guys really enjoyed this one. Please let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Also, just in case you guys are interested, this was not a sponsored video, but like I said, Ears of Small Me did send um, a set of extensions to me, very, very kind of them, and they did offer a 20% off code that I'll have in the description, so if you're interested in even checking them out and just looking into them, seeing if there's something that might work for you, or you know, if you're doing a cosplay and you don't want to rock an entire wig because the headache gets to you, this might be kind of a better option if you can get something that works with your own hair. But as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I, of course, will see you next video, so until then, bye guys!